What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, we have uh, a very cool tool here from Splinter Cards. So shout out to Splinter Cards for providing this. And it is a Rebellion pre-sale actual cost in US dollars. Now, this is going to be for one pack, 50 packs, 100, 500, all the way up to 2000. So these bottom three here, right, 100, 500, 2000, that's where you start to get some bonus packs uh, in, in order to uh, 5, 10, and 15% bonus or bulk bonuses. And so you can start to see what the actual cost is going to be. And I think that this is fascinating considering that DEC is fast or quickly approaching peg, I should say. We're at uh, 933 Splintoshis uh, here on Splinter Cards, which I think is pulling mainly from Hive Engine uh, on, I, I would say on Ethereum and the BNB chain, I still see it actually less than 900 Splintoshis. But either way, if you're buying it on Hive Engine, which is obviously where you'll need to spend it in order to be able to, uh, to take advantage, it's 930 Splintoshis. And you can see here that including that, right? So or accounting for that, bulk buyers with a reduced bulk bonus at 2000 packs are still gonna be able to get packs for under $3.50. In fact, right here, it's $3.42. And that you know includes the voucher cost, that includes uh, DEC at where it's at right now. And we've slowly seen this thing climbing you know, for, for a little while. And at PEG, it'll probably be closer to, to $3.50. But my point with this is that it kind of gives a proxy for what you can expect the packs to go for on the secondary market. And it also kind of makes sense why this was so abused in the past. If you could go through and essentially each of these packs, you might take, uh, you know, if, if you sell it on the secondary market for $3 or close to $3.50, you will somewhat break even, but you get to keep all the promo cards and you will get to keep all of the airdrops, all 15 airdrops. I think there were 15 total for Chaos Legion, which is absolutely bonkers. So I'm actually thinking that this is going to be uh, a very interesting kind of approach for Rebellion as we know that secondary pack sales, you can buy these packs off the, uh, you know, off of uh, pre-sale purchasers and still get access to those airdrops. Plus on top of that, I don't know how many people are just going to go in heavy and then start to unload. You could make the argument, right? You could make the argument that doing this will still be beneficial because if everybody is able to break even on their costs on the secondary market, right? So if we do see packs selling for $3, uh, yeah, we'll just say like $3 and, you know, 40 something cents on the secondary market, the two airdrops, sorry, not, I shouldn't say airdrops, but uh, the two promo cards, right? The legendary card and the neutral card, they can still be attained for relatively cheap to almost free. Again, all bulk purchasers would need to do is break even with the packs. So this is this is where it's it's going to start to get interesting. If they do start to sell off and they're not worried about future airdrops, are they willing to let it go for three dollars and forty two cents? Or in order to make some of that money back, will they take a loss, right? And what what ratio will that loss be, right? For every hundred packs, you get a guaranteed BCX of the the new card, or of, I'm sorry, of the legendary card. So you know, you think about okay, if if you're if you're doing like fifty cents per pack, right, uh, of of a delta, meaning that they're able to buy the packs right now for three dollars and forty two cents. If they sell on the secondary market right? For, we'll just say $2 and 92 cents. Again, I'm just using rough math here, $2 and 92 cents. So they're taking a 50 cent loss at the end of the day. Is that card, the promo card, right? Of which they're going to get one BCX. Is that, is that one BCX going to be worth higher or lower than $50? Do you get what I'm saying here? So uh, again, there's a lot of game theory here. I do think that because of the fact that you're still able to see that these packs are relatively cheap in terms of an actual USD cost. And just imagine for people who bought in at, you know, 700 Splintoshis, 800 Splintoshis, for people who bought in, their pack price is that much cheaper. And if we stay at peg, they might even come away ahead where they're able to get all of those promo cards essentially for free and then sell the packs at a profit, right? Because if they were able to buy in cheaper, meaning that, you know, that the $3.42 here and they're able to sell it at either $3.42, but they got it cheaper than that because they bought their DEC cheaper, that's going to make for an interesting thing on the market. We could still end up with quite a few extra packs from bulk purchasers. Now, I think it's not going to be as bad as Chaos Legion was. And I do think once we start to see the cards, once we start to find the meta cards, and if the Rebellion, uh, you know, liquidity, right, cards, packs, uh, sales, and rentals all stays relatively low, 
people will start going for these packs and they'll probably clean out the secondary market first, mainly because there's no benefits for buying from the actual store at this point in time. It's a, it's a weird dynamic, right? And when I say weird, it's just vastly different from, uh, from Chaos Legion, but I kind of like it because then we clean out the secondary market, we find a respectable price for the secondary market, and then that forces people back to the store. So just wanted to share these numbers with you here. This is something that I think was just put in last night or early this morning. I came in pleasantly, uh, pleasantly surprised when I saw it and I wanted to share it here with you. But for those that are planning on buying this many packs, right? And if you buy DEC at the current value that it is, it doesn't seem like a terrible deal for flippers. Again, this is not financial advice. It's not even really game advice. I'm just looking at the numbers here being run very obviously in front of you. If you're able to pull in that, you know, that amount for 2000 packs, I, it's, it could get interesting is all I'm going to say. So with that being said, I hope a ton of DEC gets locked up in the Dow. I hope the team is able to do well with the, the sales and, you know, kind of uh, build upon their runway. But um, ultimately, these are, these are very fascinating numbers, and uh, we're just a couple of days away from the pre-sale. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you planning on going heavy on the pre-sale? Do these numbers change your perspective and make you want to go more, maybe go less, maybe buy cards off the market? Where are you thinking that the promo card prices will be overall? That's all I got for you in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.